What's up, gang? People, whatever. Whoever's going to be watching this. Um, impromptu because I was going to lay low for a few days. With I mean, there is so much going on right now. It, I can't even explain it. Uh, let's start with real quick. Um, everything that's got ongoing with me here in Goshen is ongoing. Um, a lot of people made a lot of mistakes. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't even want to get into that. But let's talk about Howard Taylor. First of all, word out of Indiana is they've rescinded that suspension. I can't confirm nor deny whether that's true. I'm just throwing that out there. That's the word on the street. Now, Gorel, Taylor, defamation, Fishman list, uh, the possible purchase, never maybe a purchase of EPO and distribution of it for him, Taylor, handing it to his trainers. That's, that's what we're talking about here now. This is the reason for the defamation lawsuit against Jeff Corral. Now, I just want to enlighten you people again. I am not going to expose anything that I know. I'm not going to expose anything that I know that other people will have to go first. Let's just say it that way. The um, I always poke around and I'm reading people who have no idea what they're talking about regarding let's just let's just keep this the fishman list. Mr. Gorrell is not going to make a statement that he cannot back up with the proper documentation. We all know that now there are transcripts out there, as well as wiretaps, that other people do not have in their possession. That 99.99999% of the people in harness racing have never heard before. Some of which came from me. Now, how is that possible? It's possible that the people that are suing other people don't even have the transcripts yet or haven't read them, or isn't, or are not aware of what is contained in those wiretap recordings and transcriptions. Naming names, the 5,000 page, uh, document, the 5,000 pages of documentation of, from Seth Fishman himself this past March, as well as Lisa Gianelli, that gives even more information as to who bought what on the buy lists. Now, I'm just going to give you something that's right in front of all your eyes and nobody has ever mentioned. I keep saying, I see people saying, and they're kind of close by saying, well, why is Howard Taylor on the Fishman list? He was on, how did his name land on the Fishman list? Well, anybody's name could be on there for various reasons, right? We There are people that pro may have purchased a uh, product that was not non-FDA approved for horse for use on equine cannot be obtained without the prescription of a veterinarian. Even a veterinarian cannot buy something or give you a prescription for the use on a horse that is not approved by the FDA. All right. BB three was not FDA approved. Most of everything that Seth Fishman manufactured to be untestable was not FDA approved. And I don't care who gives you a prescription for it, doesn't make it legal. But there is something that's sitting right in front of everybody's eyes and nobody has mentioned. And Mr. Taylor holds the record on this, on the Fishman list that everybody can uh, look up on, let's say the Pollock report for themselves, the general Fishman list. Scroll down to T. Then when you get to the last name, Taylor, look, but look closely. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. What is it? Eight different people with the last name Taylor, right? But look even closer. One, two, three, Howard Taylors. One, Marlene Taylor. And where's the other one? I, I cropped it out on this because I can't verify it, but there are actually five tailors 
from the same Pennsylvania zip code. Marlene Taylor is Howard Taylor's wife. Howard Taylor's first account is Howard Taylor. Howard Taylor's second account is Howard Taylor 2. Howard Taylor's third account is Howard Taylor, in parentheses, account B. Why did an owner, an attorney, who while they were making these purchases, or doing, let's, let's, say, let's not say purchases, let's say doing business with Seth Fishman, under the uh, false sense of security that, you know, Fishman and or Lisa Gianelli were not keeping meticulous records, right? Nobody ever imagined that these records would be uh, visible to the, not just, not so much the FBI, but the general public. Am I right? Why did Howard Taylor have four and I cannot verify the, the fifth one, if that's a relative, even though it's just coincidentally in the same zi uh, zip code as Mr. Taylor and Mr. Taylor's wife. Why did he need 425 different accounts with Seth Fishman? Doesn't that sound kind of fishy, right? So I, I hope everybody starts to wake up and realize a few things here. And I was saying this again to the people that, uh, you know, I've been working with. These clowns really thought they were smarter than everybody else. And I said, what was I started to compare it to the fall of Rome where they just got too big for their britches and the Mongolians took over. No, this is worse. Because what we're starting to see is everybody's turning on each other. Um. Down to the point where me, SCM, are being threatened and the people around me. And it's, it's, there's, I, I don't know what the story is. Another one, yeah, bring that up. But let, let's stick to this, dude. But I, I agree. Somebody just said Crawford Farm. There's a lot more going on. I just want to stick to this because this is relevant right now. It's, I keep calling this a nonstop fluid situation. You're seeing the unraveling of it all happening in front of us. So what we're seeing is the collapse of the, the present day harness racing, the structure of harness racing as we know it is literally falling apart in front of us. And they are in a full blown panic. Now we're going to sue Jeff Gorrell for defamation. I am sure. Mr. Gorell knows exactly what he's doing and he's going to not going to make any assertions, especially on 60 minutes about individuals and the purchase of EPO BB three, how they were using it. Ask yourself, just let's just use common sense. Why does Howard Taylor need four to five different accounts to purchase from one veterinarian. Nobody else does go through that. That's that fishman list. Nobody else trainers own anybody. Nobody has more than, I don't think I saw anybody with more than two. And that was, that was few, but four, three himself, one, his wife and the other one, I can't say, for sure, which way or not, that it may also be for him, him, who I don't know. But I think normally one is all you need. And like I, I posted it on uh, YouTube in a video of just the uh, the Fishman list of what did he keep forgetting his password? So he had to create a new account. I mean, give me a break. So I think Mr. Gorilla is right on the ball here and has him right where he wants him. He, he and the FBI have these people literally by the short ones and they don't know what to do. So this is what I was going back to what I was saying about like the fall of Rome. No, this is like, I forgot what the story was, but this is where they know the city was being taken over. Well, maybe, you know, actually maybe it's desert storm. This is like when uh, the Iranians knew they were beat. And as they were leaving Kuwait, they started to light all the oil wells on fire. That's what you're seeing here. You're seeing guys like Feraldo, Taylor, go read their Facebook posts. Look at how the worst, the worst. Different. 
I don't even, I'm not going to read these guys. Some, it just, some, sometimes it's just the conspiracy theories. It doesn't matter. Everybody's done, but I see what people reading about Jeff. I think he means he better hope that none of Jeff's trainers are on there. Okay. If they are, they are. It does, this, everyone has done business with, er, with everybody the longer you've been. At the, but if you're supporting them in their crimes, then you're guilty. That's just that easy. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You're seeing these guys now. They are so used to being insulated within their business that that they have full control of and no outside intervention and no outside oversight. They got away with everything. And now it's unraveling. So what they want to do is as they're being as they're basically fleeing, which is what you're seeing now, you're seeing them being questioned by state commissions that they've never been questioned by before. This is so far from the worst what's coming now. So what they're going to do is, like I said, they're going to burn the business down as they're leaving. They're going to leave it in a shambles. But it could be the beginning of the cleansing. And again, whether that matters at this point, it, that, that remains to be seen. This is going to get, as I've been saying, along with the readings of these transcripts and the testimony thereof, much, much worse. I just keep trying to repeat. There's 22,000 pages of testimony, which also includes the wiretaps. And I've only given you guys a taste. You've already seen, I posted it all tonight again, that nobody talks about what's right in front of you. Howard Taylor lied to the entire industry last year when he said he had his name was not at all connected with any of the indicted. Go read it. I posted it. You'll find that it disappeared from DRF, but we have it. When he spoke with Eric, uh, Derek Gibner and he asked him if he was connected in any way with these guys that were indicted in 2020, and his answer was no. My name was not connected. I had nothing to do with that. I only helped out Rene Allard, gave him some, him, him some advisement. I don't do criminal work, and that's it. However, it slipped his mind that in 2018, part of the original before it all hit the fan investigation through the NJRC, he, Joe Feraldo, and Mark Ford did, in fact, on the record with Tom Salerno, defend Nick Surik in the investigation into how Northern Virgin was hidden from out of uh, competition testing. Flat out lie. They're nothing but lies. I don't care if they're attorneys. Again, we keep talking. Everybody keeps saying they're successful businessmen. No, they're successful criminals. Wake up. I just can't believe, again, reading what I'm reading and the silence. Uh, you know, it seems like the deeper it goes, the more silent I get people are getting. And I think it's a lot of different reasons. Shock and fear, for the most part. They don't know what's coming next. They don't know who's next in the, uh, you know, in the scope, who's going to have a red dot on them. But you need to wake up. I, I Sometimes I just can't believe how, I don't want to say, just ignorant people are in the game. They're just flat out lashing out now. And anything's possible. I learned that in the last week. But the, the main thing is, like I keep telling everybody, the truth is always going to win. And I think the people that took the shots at me learned that too. Anyway, go look it up. Pull up the Fishman list and go down to Taylor. Why does he have four, four counts? Ask yourself. Just use common sense. And all the answers are there. Peace.